Hi, my name is Matti Tahonen and I will show you how you can set up the hosted IBM DevOps services for your full stack Java E application. Let's start by creating a proper execution environment from the IBM Bluemix. Get to the catalog and choose Vadim Boilerplate. You have to choose a unique project name for your application and especially the host name must be unique among all IBM Bluemix users. The boilerplate creates you a modern Java EE execution environment with Liberty Profile Server and a SQL database. And it also connects these two together so that you don't need to consider anything about JDBC drivers or anything. Once Bluemix has reserved the resources and started up your application server, you can go to the actual web application. The template there shows some instructions how to get started with your local workstation, but let's use an alternative strategy this time. If you don't have an account to hub.jazz.net at this point, create it now and log in. Then you can use the fork project button to create your own clone of this Vadim Boilerplate example application. Give your project the same name as you did in the Bluemix console and check the deployed Bluemix. Now you have your own custom version of the example project that you could check out locally and build there. But let's configure the most essential part of your DevOps services, the CI server. Go to the advanced build and choose configure stage. There choose the builder to be Maven and uh, otherwise the settings are pretty much okay. Because you most probably want to add some integration tests in the future, I think you should also change the package target to verify. You can always request new builds, which pushes the job to Jenkins-based CI server. The queue is usually pretty short, so you can expect the build to start pretty much immediately. You can follow the progress of the build from the logs, see test results, and artifacts and related changes. Most often you will enter this screen only if there are some problems with the build or with some test results. While the first build is running, let's configure deployment to the execution environment that we created in the beginning. You can configure it with multiple deployment targets like uh, development and production servers, but we will keep it very simple this time. Instead of pushing the whole target directory to the Bluemix, Java web applications should just push the WAR file. As automatic all deployments were enabled in the previous step, you can see how the deployment stage automatically triggers when the build finishes. In case you uncheck the automatic deployment, you can just drag and drop the artifact to your server. In case you face some issues with the deployment, you can also check out the logs and see what's going on there. Once the deployment completes, you can enter your application and see the actual result. In case your browser cased the old application, just reload the page and you will see your new rich internet application live. Pretty simple and only browser was used. Now let's look at what else does DevOps Services has to offer. The track and plan section contains a project management tool that is uh, built for modern Scrum process. From the dashboard, you can see how you are currently progressing with your project. You can fill your backlog with issues, enhancements, user stories, and then plan those into sprints and release plans. Another cool part is that you can actually edit your code online. Naturally, if you have a larger project, you probably want to check out the code and set it up into your local IDE, but some smaller changes might actually be handier to make directly with your browser. 
Let's open the part of our application where we are saving the customers back to the database. Here we are calling the service layer that actually does the database interaction, but let's also add a notification to the user that everything went OK. Like we would be working locally, we need to save the file. Then, because we are using JIT, we need to commit the change to the source code management system. We can just check the relevant file and skip all these settings files and then add a commit message and then hit commit. And because of JIT has this two-stage commit, then also push the change to the actual repository. Now, if we get back to the build and deploy phase, we can actually see that Jenkins has noticed the change in our source code management system and started a new build. A moment later, you can see that the build has been finished and it has been deployed to our test server. And if we get to the actual application, we can verify that our new functionality is there. So let's open one customer, change something, click save, and see that there is now this new notification visible. Thank you for your interest. If you want to repeat this tutorial, just go to bluemix.net and choose Baden Boilerplate as your starting point.